Oh, yeah. Seth's football IQ is, like, through the roof. Like, it's insane. And Sweet. now that – I didn't know, don't know if you knew this, but I'm playing center now, so I'm, I'm snapping. And – Is that a real talk exclusive? No, I actually, I actually told the media yesterday. Oh, uh, they got that Damn. first. Sorry. Um, what are you doing? What? I didn't have a choice. They forced me to go talk to him. Um, yeah, and I, t- I was like, I told, I called Seth, and I was like, I have a new respect for what you did all year last year. I was like, I like listening to the calls, not making them. And that coach up in Athens got them boys playing pretty good ball. Anyway, I love you, son. Go dogs. Okay. We, we got ran three times in the space of 24 hours before that practice, and we had to squat. Yeah, welcome. Everybody else did. Then everybody else actually had to practice. I practice also. I had to punt. And yeah. then How many balls punting. did you kick? Like four? Live reps, four. Then we charted like 16. And the warm ups. Oh we had like two warm ups. Oh my God. You put your body through it. We're you, rough try life. Bend, you try and bend your ankle. Over I hope your we shoulder. run a fake punt one day. Yeah. But you get to carry the ball? Yeah. You get, But you get the first down, right? Yeah. But as soon and as then, you get the first down, you just get laid out. That would be. My dream. This is why I don't like you. But you love me. And I never said those words. But you do. I know you do. No. It's okay. I don't think so. Thanks. Why, why don't you want me to run for a touchdown? Why, oh, that's I, want, what a good I, I would love would to say. see one after that, but that you run for a touchdown. Yeah. Why don't we see the touchdown? Okay. Please? Okay. Okay. Here. You run for a touchdown, but you get late hit. And then we all like get up and celebrate with you. Yeah. Would you fight for me like you fight for Carson? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Because you love me. Because I love you. Thank you. Do you love me? I think I'm busy then. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Welcome back to Real Talk. Say it, with, say it with some effort. That sounded like you don't want to be here. Thank you to all the viewers for tuning in for this episode. If you would take one second to like, subscribe, comment, any questions you would like me and Brett to ask, even though we never even ask them, answer them, even though we tell you we will. Um, and turn on your post notifications. That'd be pretty cool. And um, thank you for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. Um, cheers. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, just us two this week. So if you could take probably be a your little... favorite episode ever. Yeah, it's just us. And the duo's back. So duo's if you could back. take a second to like, subscribe, the trio. and comment. The trio. Yeah, and Addy. Thank you. So thank you. Three amigos. Three Musketeers, however you want to call it. Speaking of amigos, there's this Mexican restaurant called La Montaña. Oh. And it's over there by Barney Shoals, like mm-hmm. down there by the Walmart. Kind of. And they have this dish called the Super Amigos Elite. It's five enchiladas. It's a cheese, ground beef, steak, chicken, and bean. I always get the bean replaced with another cheese. The Super Amigos. And I'm telling you, it is elite. And we're actually sitting there the other day. And the bar is like to our right. Next thing we know, these three dudes just start wailing on each other. Like full on brawl in the middle of this Mexican restaurant. (laughs) I was like, oh, that's sick. You get a a show and a meal? It's pretty sick. I was sitting there like analyzing. I was like, was it just out of nowhere or was it a bit of a like? No, no, it was just like out of nowhere. Like all of a sudden somebody got thrown up against the wall and then just started getting punched. This one family got a free meal. They just got up and left with their kids. Yeah, I, that's warranted. Interesting. Who, you didn't want to go in and help out, sort them out? No, I was watching. I, I was laughing. I thought it was pretty cool. While I eat my Super Amigos. And then they have the greatest steak quesadilla ever. You got the, you got the Super Amigos and the steak quesadilla. Got to. <laughs> got to. Should I put on my... It was good. You should try it out. We'll go one day. I would never cheat on ZZ and some mines. It's not, it's, it's completely different food. That's like going to a different Italian restaurant. Okay, I can understand that. That's cheating. We'll never do that. But it's Mexican food. I mean, Mexico's below us. Italy's like six hour flight away. It's pretty close. A little too close. Okay, the real question is when are we going to do a, a show in ZZ's? I think we should just do it ourselves. I think we should just roll up there with a the camera, hand over Tate's credit card, and. Yeah. Whoa. Dinner's on Tate. Not yeah. yours. Okay, I'll Thank pay. You. I'll pay for Addie's, but not yours. Why am I? Because you're rich. I'm not rich. You are rich. My I'm not. Thanks. Here's a little fun fact, UGA fans. I'm not allowed to make nil or engage in nil activities. 
Wait, that's actually like a that's thing? fact. Yeah, as an international student, I'm on an international student visa, and you're not permitted to work. So they're letting you come into the country to get your degree, but you're not permitted to work. Hmm. So yeah. Technically, if you make under thirteen grand, it doesn't count as a work, and you don't have to pay taxes. We're allowed to do like nine hours, but that's on on campus work or something. And nil is on campus work. Technically, I could go work in the school, like in the food. So like holes, you could go the work food holes, yeah, or like clean up the lawns, like cut the lawns. I'm gonna have to. Times get tough. I can't wait to drive down Lumpkin and just see you on a on a lawnmower. <laughs> Give you away. <laughs> Hey, Brett. Brett. I might just lift it up a where, little. Where, why is Brett leading me to our coach? He's, 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 he's cutting the lawn outside. Like. Yeah. Why is he, mate? Um, I might have to lift the lawnmower deck up and see if I can get a stone into the side of your truck. Why would you do that? Just pay back. For what? For everything you do to me. What do I do to you? You told me that we do nothing as specialists. You say you hope we have to work out. You say our days are easy. And that's just the stuff. Okay, two of those things are true. One of them is kind of mean. But me wanting, hoping you have to work out is only bettering you for the future. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, how else are you going to get a can- have a cannon of a leg without working out? Even rest. though I do hope rest. you never have to use it. Rest. I think rest. A little bit of yoga. No, no, no. Science says that you perform better if you sweat the day before. Yeah, hot works. I'm on. about to start going. I'm going to... You can hot works. We could do a show on hot works. You want to start Ten doing? Nine. You want to start doing hot <laughs> yoga in the morning with me? I'll do it. Are you actually? Do you actually go now? No, I, uh, the few boys I've met. So Mastro has a membership and Hayball has a membership, and they love it. So I was like hoping I could go to Coach Sinclair and say, "Hey, instead of doing a big weights workout, can I get a hot works and do a punting workout? Punt, the, the, just just work that. your work your uh, work your drops in the sauna. Yeah, wet ball drill, obviously hot, humid." Practicing so, for when we go down there. Okay. Do you have yoga pants? What are yoga What are yoga pants? And are, are those the things the girls wear? Like leggings? Yeah, really tight, you know. I have Lulu, but not yoga pants. They're not like compression. You should invest in some yoga pants to wear to yoga. I'm going to guess yours are rainbow colored. No. So how does that work if you go to the NFL? Like, what do you have to, like, have get to another visa? Them. Yeah, I think I think so. you got to swap Just become a citizen. Visa. You have to get your visa sponsored, like a sponsored visa. So if you get hired by a company, they're going to pay, I think, $6,000 to hire you to the... No. Hmm. So why don't you just become a citizen? Like, is that... How complicated is that, actually? I haven't looked into it. I think the easiest way people do is to get married to to an American. And you're like, that actually, like... You don't take a test, like... I don't don't, think so. No, you get your green card from that. I think... Is is there a difference between green card and citizenship? Hmm. Is there? Wait, how old's your sister? I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. She's taller than you. I don't. <laughs> I'll kill you. I will kill you. She's still hot. Sorry. She's what? She's still a very lovely lady. I'll kill you. <laughs> if I knew you were like being serious, I'd try to kill you. I'd like, I'd like put your head to that TV. You okay. protect you. Huh? You're protective. Of her? Yeah. Has she ever brought a guy home? Like, a boyfriend to Christmas or something? Yeah, she used to have a boyfriend. His name was Brant. Cool guy. I actually, I actually liked him. He was allergic to peanuts. Ooh. So, I, I made sure to bring out the peanut butter when he was around. <laughs> That's good to say. Uh, he was a cool guy. They ended up working out. Um, good for him. I don't know how people deal with her. She's a, she's a handful. She's a handful. She liked you, just the female version. She has no filter. Constantly. Oh. Yeah, no, nothing like you. She has no filter. <laughs> I'd say she's a better person than I am. That's not very hot. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, I have a younger sister too. How old is your sister actually? No. Is she in college? She, yeah, she goes to she? Tennessee. SC? Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee, okay. Yeah, she's, oh, that's she's, right. she's a ball. She was at the game. She's a ball. Sports? Hmm? Sports. Not up there. She she was a pretty good basketball player and volleyball player in high school. Yeah. And I think she kind of saw, like, what we do, like, on a daily basis and kind of, like, associated every single sport with that. And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Addy, you played volleyball in college. Was it, like, you and your brother, Ryland, play here. Was it, like, comparable at all, like, what we did? No. 
See, that's what I tried to tell her. I was like, I mean, I was like, I was like, you can go play a sport and it will not be like what I do. And she, I think she just like permanently associated like what we had to do with like any like sport at any school. I was like, I mean, it's, it's not like that. Yeah. But she could have went and played basketball and probably volleyball places. And she was a pretty good, she was pretty good track. She ran pretty well until she should have won state in the uh, 100 meter, 110 meter hurdles. She tripped. She tripped. She was leading. Oh, she was she like, she, oh, she was supposed to win it. Like it was like, oh. if she ran well, she was going to win it. And like third hurdle, she tripped. That was a bad deal. That's tears. What a works. Oh yeah. She def. I wasn't there, yeah. but she, she definitely bawled her eyes out. Yeah. And fun fact, I threw shot put in high school, and no matter what I did, the best I could have ever gotten is second. You could never win. No. You know who won it every single year? Micah. Laneith. No, like, Laneith, like, was, like, almost touching 70. That's, like, freakish. That's crazy. Yeah, so, like, no matter what I did, I'd show up to state just knowing I was going to get second. (laughs) Like, second was, like... I was like, okay, if I Did you so. take it seriously or were you just showing up to like I mean, I'm a com- mate doing it, going to the next level, doing it? No, I went to practice. Stuff. Like, okay. I went to practice and stuff. And I like, I mean, I took it seriously because I'm a competitor. Like, I couldn't like yeah, go okay. in there and just like not. But it, it was kind of like, it just pissed me off knowing every year I could just get second. You just get second. Steph, I, I was the same, but I only ever showed up to like our Asta at school. And I just like, I never trained. I never did any sort what, of. What'd you do? Oh, high jump? That's fat. Yeah. Well, how high were you jumping? Uh, by the end of it, like around 7, 8, like 6, 1. Really? Yeah. Look at you. Um, we used like centimeters, so it was up in the 180s. And so y'all go by, that's how y'all measured it, is centimeters? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I think. I guess America is the only one that does, uses half of the stuff we measure stuff by. Like miles per hour, we're the only ones that use that. Yeah. Um, do your own thing. Yeah, it's. Thanks. America. America. Answers. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Stars and no. stripes. Guns. <laughs> I got to wait for you to get your citizenship, though. Yeah. We're going to go. We're going to go and just like have you airing out my AR 15. <laughs> and we're going to send it to the government. And they're going to be like, we like this guy. Welcome. We're going to gonna give him his citizenship. Uh, that's going to be my application. At least I fill out like a thousand words. I'll just send a video. In your AR. They'll be like, deal. You deal. got it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy bleeds red and blue. All right, spring break. Yeah. Heard you stayed hydrated. Yeah, some would say. Uh, you never called me. It's very hot down Florida, does not it? Yeah. You said you were going to call me and you never did. I might have been too busy calling someone else. My spring break was good, yeah. Um, Florida was nice, obviously. Very hot down there, so stayed hydrated. What about you? Um, you catch anything? I don't know if catching is the word. If blowing its head off with a shotgun is what you mean by catch, yes. Oh, I said to Cade and Dan, you catch anything today? Um, but I was down there too, probably even with you actually, just on the other side of the state. Yep. And um, yeah, it was pretty warm. Yeah. Went down there, had a lot of fun. Ended up um, caving two turkeys' faces in with 12 gauge. 12 gauge. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, good, good. I did see the photo. Did you see the other photos? Do you gonna do them up for Thanksgiving or do you uh, buy a turkey then? No, I just buy one then. Um, Why shoot it? We fry it. I thought we, we hunt fry to survive. It. We, yeah, we fry it. We fry yeah. it. I've heard they're not that good to eat if they're just like eating straight down. They have like bones all throughout it. No. They're like good. little splinters or is that just the drumstick? Just like the drumstick. Oh, okay, okay. Um, where are they? Yeah, um, here you go. Where are you guys? You guys should have gotten the photo. <laughs> Yeah. Not a yeah. bad day. Yeah. Turkeys are ugly. If you're wondering. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Went out there. Went stepped out. on its head. Suffocated it. After we, because it doesn't the like. The gun doesn't do it? Uh, it does majority of it, but they still. Just got to finish it It's off. like a snake. Once you cut their head off, they still uh, squirm yeah. and stuff. But they were dead. Yeah. They were we dead. just. Did more dead. Yeah. We just made them more dead. Yeah. Um, so that was a good time. Then came back. Ended up going to. Warren Erickson wedding. Congrats to the Ericksons. Um, we, we actually had a great time. I saw the hats. The hats looked awesome. That's a sick Phenomenal idea. time. And if y'all were wondering, I can two-step like a champ. <laughs> Just, like if y'all were wondering. Um, What's a two-step? I've never seen one. Can you play a show? I'm not getting up. 
Um, you know, I'm actually sore from practice yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I've never been so sore from a spider's practice in my life. Dude. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I am. Um, yeah, Sad. I ended up having a great time. Yeah, hats were really cool. Um, awesome, I got dude. I got mullet man put on mine. Did they come up with, were they made when you got there? You made your own hat. Made your own. At the Coach Searles wedding. got one with squirrels on it. Good. Um, Good. Everybody, everybody got a hat. It was pretty, it was a lot of fun. Um, Any other coaches there? Or was Matt Luke? No, his wife was. Okay. Um, Searles was there. Will Myers was there. I don't yep. know if you know Willis. Yeah, he's. Um, who else was there? Nobody else was there. No coaches. Um, yeah, fun time. Cool to see them get married. Known them for a long time, so. That was cool. You were in the you were in the wedding. You no, were Anna was. Okay, Anna was. Um, yeah, it was good to see all the guys uh, that have gone like get drafted, True. and then some that are already in the league. And I was I was sitting there, I was like, like damn, this is kind of sad. Like knowing like the only time that we're all gonna be back together is it's like weddings. at weddings and stuff like that. So that was kind of sad to realize, but it was it was a lot of fun. Um, stayed hydrated. Good, good, responsible hydration. Yeah, um, they like, should look after the, the body. The, the mocktail meal was really getting to me. Mocktail meal. Yeah. What was it? Moscow meal. But it was a mocktail. What about you, Eddie? Spring break or how was it? What'd you do? Get off your phone, screenager. Talk to yeah. the people. Well, you guys are talking to each other. So. No, we're talking to you. So. Uh, yeah, it was fun. I went to the beach. Which beach? Mexico Beach. Yeah, it's like to the right of PCB. Yeah. It's very quiet. You don't want to stay in PCB? Nope. Yeah. Have you seen, seen the videos? The retirement like community. See, that's what I like. I like that. It's very I like. Quiet. Have you already seen the videos? Have you all seen the videos of PCB right now? Like full out brawls on the beach. I like, can't. wait, I like PCB. I haven't seen the videos. <laughs> um, you? <laughs> I would love to see you. It'd be. PCB. I don't think you would like it, but I would like to see you there. Yeah, I mean, it's. Is it spring breakers or is it locals that are there? Oh, issue? it's spring breakers. I feel like I would like it. No. It's it's just ridiculous. it's like it's just a shit show. Yeah. Okay. Like it's bad. Like there's like too many people, like yeah. too much going on. Like the beat like the beaches are literally like sometimes like shoulder to shoulder. No, yeah. There's like no room. Yeah. It's gross. I would never You'd struggle there. What? Are you making fat jokes? <laughs> no. I That's crazy. Very, <laughs> I'm sensitive about my weight. Quiet spaces. Well, Maybe don't eat 16 tacos when you go to your Mexican place then. I don't I eat five enchiladas. I don't know. Quesadillas. Potato, potato. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's do our <laughs> fist pump feature of the week. The fist pump. You want to explain it to the people? People For, the, for those that... I mean, Is we probably have first a new time viewer. Watch fist pump. Is something good that's happened to you in the week? Something worth a fist pump? What, what, is, what does the fist pump feature come from? Come from... Tiger Woods, I yep. believe, uh, when he used to make a putt, he used to give the old fist bump. Let me see the fist bump. Well, these ones. The main Down one. to the side. The little <laughs> um, what's yours? Mine. Spring break was good. I think just spring break, getting away. Yeah, spring break. Just beach and supporting a few local establishments. Of course, of course. You got to you. support small businesses. Yep. I have a couple. As much as, like, I, like, actually, like, you know, like, I, like, complain about stuff a lot. <laughs> no. As much as you? I do it. No. I, like, am really excited that we're actually, like, practicing again for, like, no reason. Like, I don't know why. I just am. Like, yesterday, like, I, like, was, like, I, like, look forward to going to practice now. Like, we have fun now. And... That's Maybe you're not I. practicing hard enough then. Oh, I was practicing hard. I was cramping yesterday. You can't. <laughs> yeah, calves. At the end of practice, they were getting, they were, they were getting a little tight. Um, second one is my drive. My new driver came in yesterday. There you go. You're yeah. magically a professional golfer. Um, no, I just got a driver that just lowered my spin down as much as possible. Have you taken it out for a spin? I, Test I, I went and picked it up last night at like nine or like eight forty-five. After I got done with ranking, you're that excited. I mean, I was like, I, wanted, I didn't want to come pick it over today. I was like, I'm already out, so I might as well. Um, yeah. And the third one's killing those turkeys. That was, that was fun. Osceolas aren't easy to kill, and we ended up getting it done. Got it done. Addy, fist bumps for the weight. Um, I'm tan, so if I'm tan, I'm happy. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. 
big time. Oh, I got I got really burnt the other day. Mm. Me and Cade went out on Lake Oconee to fish, and we took his little boat out. And is it a tinny? It's a John boat. I don't know what you mean by that. Tinny is just like a metal, whatever they call it, boat. Small. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it got it got warm. So I was like, all right, I'm going to take my shirt off. We're sitting there fishing. And I looked at the UV index. UV index like four. So I was like, ah, like I'm good. Like whatever. It got off and like, you know, like you get burnt and you don't realize it at the time. Went home yeah. and like sat down, like like took a shower, still didn't notice it. And um, went and sat down, like watched TV. And like before I'm about to go to bed, I walk into the bathroom, like brush my teeth and I flip on the lights. I'm like, Oh God! Oh, <laughs> it's like, shit, I have red. So um, that was a fun experience. It's usually bad when you look down. You're like, oh, I look a little burnt, so I'm going to stop now. And then by the time you're out, you you cook completely. I was I was a little I was a little burnt. Did you uh, watch the pro day today? Yeah, I did. It was that was fun. Did you see Lad's uh, shuttle time? It was like he ran a sub four shuttle. Yeah, I'm it's like absurd. That's, yeah, that's wild. Like a three nine six shuttle. Oh, that's like insane is that yeah i was gonna say what like i feel like that i don't know shuttle times i think i'm up around the eight second mark so i thought <laughs> that was a good time so when i saw four i was like yeah he must be moving yeah he's, he's, he's changed directions insane yeah gunner saw, was out there throwing to him yeah that was sick gunner oh gunner hey i missed i was in class i was showing to be academic did he throw well no did he yeah throw well? he threw well yeah. And he came out, came after. I was like, you threw pretty well. He's like, man. I was like, I was like, there's two balls I wish I had back. I was like, yeah, Gunner. I was like, they're not going to draft you just yeah. based off your pro day from two years before. Yeah. Like two, <laughs> I was like, hey, they just crossed you off the list. Yeah. Two uh, out of 60 for the day. And he's yeah. like, oh, I want him back. And he was like, yeah, there's only two throws I wish I had back. I was like, Gunner. I was like, stop. Please stop. I was like, you're okay. But yeah, that, that was pretty cool uh, to see. Um, I like seeing all the guys be back because. I was pretty close with the majority of the people that left, so it was yeah. good to see all of them. You got a few boys off the line going? Said and Mims. Um, Mims had a freakish combine. Um, yeah, I saw that. What did he – what was he? Said had a really good combine too. Yeah. Uh, Mims' combine is just – he's just a freak human being, just being that size, running what he does. And yeah. Then, I thought his broad jump as well was like freaky to watch. Mm -hmm. It was just – Said's uh, – IQ and like people skills is going to take him so far. Like said's a really good football player and his IQ, like he has the best football IQ, I think. I feel like he would interview so well. Oh, so well. Nick. I guarantee you he walks in interviews and they like hear him talk and like explain yeah. stuff and they're like, okay, like this guy knows what he's talking yeah. about. He'll start um, explaining like the whole thing if they're but, like explaining this one thing. Oh yeah, said's football IQ is like through the roof. Like it's insane. So and he, now that I didn't know, don't know if you knew this, but I'm playing center now, so I'm, I'm snapping. And is that a real talk exclusive? No, I people, actually, I actually told the media yesterday. Oh, they got to it first, sorry. Um, what are you doing? What? Well, I didn't have a choice. They forced me to go talk to them. Um, yeah, and I, t I was like, I told, I called Seth, and I was like, I have a new respect for what you did all year last year. I was like, I like listening to the calls, not making them. And I said, it's a stressful job. I will say that, just to have yeah. to get everybody on the same page. But Well, speaking of media, actually. Was it? Yeah. I yeah. saw a little tweet. I don't – that was a, that was the – it's like what I have on my shirt right now. It was literally the <laughs> like the, the, the shadow of the microphone. Somebody's like, oh, he has a – he's like, oh, this fat ass has a stain on his shirt. He's probably eaten, <laughs> eaten before. No, it was it was the microphone. So I'm not going to lie. When I first saw the picture, I, looked, I thought I had a stain. You thought I'm not going to lie. And then I, like, looked at the picture twice. I was like, oh, that's just the shadow. It did look very, like, spill-ish. Yeah. yeah. Ah, well, I'm glad we clarified that. I was, I was worried for you. I don't like you. Just Ryland put that, that on there. What? Ryland put that on there. I have tilted topics, Good. and he, that was one of the ones he put on there. Good. Thanks, Ryland. Love you. Oh, got to see, got to see uh, him and Alexa this past weekend. A picture of y'all oh, yeah. on his fridge. I was like, yeah. that's So the, that's on their fridge. And our fridge, too, is just pictures of us and them. That's so fun. <laughs> actually, I, so we actually I texted him the other day. And uh, I actually sent him this picture. Here, I'll send it to you so I don't have to get up. The wedding season right now. Because you were at Jake's yeah. the week before. Big wedding, wedding season. There. I sent him that. And then he sent me the back, the picture of his, of his, of his uh, fridge. That's funny. So, yeah, that's our. 
Yeah. That's yeah, our fridge. On the fridge already. Yeah. Like like Straight school. to it. I like that. Did they have a photo booth? Like, yeah. Print out photo, yeah. That was pretty That's fun. good. I've been in with those. They're fun. You like mine? You like my sign? Well, it's still sick. Proud. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, that was fun. Um, okay, so have you paid the attention to any of the NFL free agents? I've yeah. seen it. What about Pop Derek up. Henry going to the Ravens? You know how That's gross dangerous. that combo is going to be on Madden? <laughs> Running the read option with Derek Henry and Lamar? If I played Madden, I would probably play with them. But that will be that'll be fun to watch with Munkin as well. Oh yeah, Munkin, Munkin, Munkin. I bet Munkin's excited. He would be very excited. Munkin's Can you definitely play excited. They um they got some good good wideouts as well. So Jose Flowers, um, is Mark Odell Andrews Flowers? is their tight end. I don't know. It's a good question. Um, Kirk Cousins to Atlanta. That's a big one. Charlie's coming back. As Quavo back. called him, Kirk Eyes. Kirk Eyes. Uh, is that what he called him? I or something like so. that. And then, yeah, Charlie's coming to the Falcons. I bet he's happy about that, getting out back of Cali home. and being back home close to his family. He'll be back out to the lake every second weekend. Probably. Oh, yeah. He'll be out there turkey hunting in the spring, I'm sure. Turkey hunting. He goes hunting a bit. Yeah. I saw him and Jake in there today. Jake's – where is Jake still with the Washington? I don't think so. Ah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Baker Mayfield just signed a huge contract. Oh, it's Tampa. Mm-hmm. Huge as in, like, max or – not max, I don't think. I saw um He signed a three year hundred million dollar contract. It's pretty good. I'll pay the bills for a little bit. Yeah, just for a little bit. I think he might You might be. even be able to pay your kids' bills for some for a little bit of time. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm sure he's doing all right. Yeah. Um so who else? Saquon, Saquon, Saquon oh Eagles. yeah, that's Saquon massive. to the Eagles. Yeah, that's crazy. That's awesome. Um who else? What else did we see? I saw running backs were going everywhere. Swift went to Chicago. Chicago, right, Eddie? Eddie, you're supposed to know the stuff. You put it up there. Yeah. Ryan put it up there. What did you put up there? Spring ball. Good stuff, what, Eddie. Um, Thank you. What do you think the Bears will do with Fields then? Now that they don't, they didn't um, send him to Atlanta. I don't know. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited for Falcons. I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't really have an NFL team that I'd like strictly cheer for. Yeah, I default. guess if I, I guess if I did, it'd be like the Titans, just because like he's from, from Tennessee and they. I don't know. I really liked. Uh, I liked that little one when he was there. Um, I re- loved Vrabel. I thought Vrabel was awesome. Um, so that I, back back when they were all there, um, that was pretty cool. And Ben Jones, he played here. Yeah, um, he's, re- he's. I think he's retiring. Um, he had a long career, so he's, that'd be an awesome city. I can't wait to go tailgated games. Like after I'm done playing, I can't Don't wait. Can't at us here in the dog hall. Yeah, I'm like, David Brad, you're gonna hit the head head with a beer came back. Thanks, Tate. Yeah, hopefully you're. I know. You won't still be here, will you? And I've got two years left, um, but I'm getting old. So who knows what I'll be doing? You are um, old. Might be selling car insurance. Maybe. I'd, I'd I'd let you insure my car. Why go to my house? Would you let me be your real time? For sure. <laughs> like, like if I was going to buy a house, you could 100% sell me a house. Yeah. So I feel like we have very similar sense of humors. Then you'd walk up to like some, some snowflake would be there and you'd like say something like semi fucked up. And then <laughs> like, <laughs> and they'd be like, what did you just say? And then like put you on blast on social media and try to get you canceled and shut down your whole business and ruin your life. Cause that's what those people like to do these days. Um, but yeah, I'd buy a house from you. I feel I'd be very like successful here to be Australian. Like then they just wouldn't listen to what you're saying about the house. And we'd just be confused with what you actually say. And you get to the end of the tour and they will be like, sounds good. <laughs> cool. Like, yeah. Deal. Yeah, yeah I, just over, I just overcharged them 200 grand yeah. on this house. They just signed their just life away. stealing it at this point. They just signed away their social security number to me. I should be a realtor for all the boys that leave. Do you have a social security good. number? No, I don't. We talked about this. Oh, yeah, we did. I feel like we did before. I was, like, thinking about that before I asked a question. I should be a realtor for all the boys that go to the draft. We know enough people these days. Yeah. 10, to, 10 to 13, 14 a year. It's a pretty good number. I'd be. I'd put a, I'd put a pretty penny in your pocket. Nice little... But it's also your mate, so you wouldn't want to like charge him. Yeah, but you'd be you'd ridiculous still be amount. But like two percent of an NFL house would still be decent. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. Um, trench talk. Trench talk. The trench talk is the opposite of the fist pump. It's something rough that has happened in your week. 
Um, I'll let you go first. You, I can go first if you want me to. It cost me some negative ones to go first. Um, no, neither of these are like bad. me being negative. It's like actually something bad that happened to me. Um, so while we were turkey hunting, we were on this public land called Big Cypress. And it's like the worst terrain I've like ever been on. Um, it's like swamp, basically. And so we get about three miles back on this trail. And I'm talking like we've been through water in our waist, like walking, like it's bad. We're like, okay, we finally get to a part like we literally like can't get past because the water's like up to here. Yeah. And um, what are the techies doing in there if it's no, this, water? There, it's not all, there's dry parts too. It's just hard to get to them. Okay, yeah. And um, we're like, okay, we're going to turn around. Well, one of the tires on the e bike had popped. Was it your e bike? Yeah. I'd like hit a, like we were coming over and like under the like, there's like, there's sometimes water sat like this, but I you could still like drive through it. And I'd like clipped a rock. I don't mean this water. offensively, but was there a weight limit on the e bike? Everybody has a weight limit. That's just so they can't get sued. Yeah, I'm sure. Like the C has a weight limit. It's probably a lot lighter than what I am. I'm sure you hit a rock. No, I did. And, um, yeah, so that, that was a bad deal. So there was a lot of pushing. Eventually, Kay just said, screw it, and started riding it with a flat tire. Um, but, yeah, he definitely bad. doesn't seem the type of guy to be happy about. Dude, I was worried. It was hot. Um, not fun. And then my second one was probably my calf cramping at practice. That was extremely unenjoyable, especially when we were doing up-downs at the end. Oh, yeah. You didn't have too many, though. Only 10. Um yeah, my calves were not enjoying this. Now my calves are really sore. Funny that. Mine, I think you taking an hour to get here tonight, that was... I couldn't help not it. Not ideal. Um, I did get a good nap and got to watch some AFL highlights, though. But, yeah. Although I felt bad for Addie. I don't know how long she'd been here for. but How long have you been here for? I've been here since, like, 5.30. <sighs> yeah. But you got some work done. Yeah. Yeah, that you wouldn't have got done if I wouldn't have been yeah, late. Well, uh, no, I would have gotten it done. No, you wouldn't have. It's in the comfort of my own home. No, you wouldn't have. It's okay. So what was your, what's your dress talk? You being No, 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 no one. You can't say that. <laughs> no, that's allowed. No, no, no one. She's, she can have the same one as you. <laughs> I don't really have one. Oh, good. Addie's positive this week. Perfect. Yeah, Woo! I am. We just got back from the beach, so I can't go. You're tan. You're happy. <laughs> no, literally. I'm potentially on your little your spot next weekend, Kennesaw. Why? Gonna maybe go watch some baseball. Where? Kennesaw State University. Why? Uh, <laughs> all right, twenty questions. I want to play baseball. I've never played. I want to give it a shot. We can go to the cages. You should go with Ryan Tate. I definitely uh, want to like. I played baseball like my whole life, and then just like got so tired of it in high school and stopped playing. Uh, I want to, yeah, I want to take a glove, mitt, and... Oh, we're actually going to have... I'm going to sling it. Like, I'm throwing headhunters at you. Why would you do that? I'm not f***ing around. Like, I want to play baseball properly. Yeah, okay. Hit me. Put me on first base. Hit me again. I'll put you on first base happily because I know you're not stealing shit. <laughs> I would put money that I have a faster forty than you. Nah, no deal. I would put money on it. How much would you put on it? Let's put 100 bucks on it. How long do we have to train? I don't know. By next podcast. By next podcast? Yeah. I'm not trying to sprint right now, though. That's the thing. I would, if you let me actually try. Like, I don't try in the 40. I think. What, what have you, what's the fastest you've ever ran the 40 on? We don't have it back home. I, what well, did you, you ran it on combine? Yeah, that was probably 5'3". Yeah, yeah, I got you. You don't have me. Yeah, I've got you. I, I guarantee you I could take you in almost every combine event. I think I could out jump you. I know I can out I feel like you. you'd out pro jump me. I don't know. I don't you like might give me a vertical. Um, bench press, I'd hope I could meet you in that. No, like, no offense, but I, I would hope. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, I think I'd get you in the shuttle. Three cone. Yeah, I'd probably get you in three, three cone. cone. If I knew what these drills were, I would Hell, just the re run, Yeah. Um, uh, I feel like I could do it. Usually I'm good when I'm competing. I'm not good when it's like, when I'm like, I. When you have, when you're just doing it for your own pleasure. Well, I tore my hamstring last year. You tore it. I don't know. Something happened to them. <laughs> you probably mildly strained it. It felt like it curled up. Interesting outfit. Yeah, Brett's um, hamstring ripped in. 
It probably snapped off the bone and I made a remaculate remac- 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 recovery. Yeah. <laughs> recovery for the orange bowl. Where you didn't have to punt. Yeah. I got yeah. That was the first time in the pregame when I was the first time I'd punted. Um leading up to the game since our since I tore it. <laughs> Good thing you didn't did you have to punt that game? I did it. Can you remember we come back in that like nothing week before Christmas and oh. we had to squat three yeah. times in one yeah. week? Yeah. I remember that. And of we, course. <laughs> we squatted Friday morning and then it was like 20 degrees, 30 degrees, and we were outside all day and we come back in and he give us eight tempo, eight like tempos oh, to finish. And on the last yeah. one he said, hit your numbers. I was like, watch this. I'm going to be out the front. I'm like, feeling good. I was moving well. <laughs> and I'm like, I get out about eight steps the next minute it feels like the top of my hand shrinking the bottle just like curl up and, go, and like I joke around a lot obviously when we do shit like that I'm like nah I'm not doing it like I hurt myself like, yeah, nah. so I walked up to the trainers and they're like yeah okay bro and I said and I said it to Co- like Coach Cochran I was like I think I just tore my hamstring and he's like nice <laughs> and the trainers like alright come up for treatment and I show up the next day we're in our meeting and I got treatment in the morning. I show up for the meeting and then they're like, oh, so you're good to punt today? I was like, coach, like my hamstring. Like, like I'm not kidding this time. Like I'm My serious. hamstring actually went, did they? They're like, there was nothing on the injury report. And I was like, coach, I don't know what to tell you. Like I can't like walk, let alone punt. He's like, oh, um, okay. Well, <laughs> so they genuinely thought I was like mucking around, I think. I'm joking. <laughs> And then they just didn't think it was that serious. So, like, I had to be like, no, guys, like, it's like, not no, good. Like, yeah. I'm, actually I'm, not kidding this I'm not joking. Like, something is seriously wrong. And, like, there wasn't anything on the scan or anything. But, yeah, and then we got Christmas off. So, got to, like, rest a little. We come back, got down Miami. And it wasn't feeling good until, like, we're like, all right, we'll save it up for the game. Until you got properly hydrated in Miami, it wasn't feeling right. The hydration helped. Just got to do something different. Kind of switch up. Okay, we should we try and get a couple more minutes of you can you hear content? Me? Can yeah. you hear me? Okay, perfect. I was just tired of sitting that. We like food. <laughs> one of them is food. sides. Can you use it? <laughs> and the other one is pizza toppings. Pizza. Sides. Oh, oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Um, I don't really like sides. It's American. Thing. All right, pizza toppings. Let's go. Okay. Um, the first one is buffalo chicken. Five. Five. Uh, number two is onions. Just onions? Two. I love onions. Mm. Or oh, do you mean onions on the overall... Is that the whole pizza? Or is that just like on top of the pizza of your choice? On top of the pizza of your choice. Like as Four. like you that's, can, that's nothing. That's like... No, like to you, can, you don't have to put just onions on there. Like you get like... Oh, okay. Onion. Yeah. No, four still. <laughs> okay. um, Sick. The third one is bacon. Crispy bacon. Oh, you wrecked it. I'm going to do Australian bacon. Three. It's not on the list. Thank you. Um, um, three. Um, okay, number four is pepperoni. I feel like last one's pineapple. I know. So I'm going to say two for that's pepperoni. A, that's what I'm going to say. Four. What do you guys have left? Pepperoni. Open. Number one. one. Do you like pineapple pizza? It'll be that or Saturday. <laughs> Do you like pineapple on pizza? I'll let her ask the question. <laughs> Do you guys like pineapple? No, what's the last one? We can't. I want to know the answer. <laughs> no, could you? No, it was the last one. Is it, it pineapple? <laughs> Number five is anchovies. <laughs> no, it's I not. No, was... it's not. It's literally on here. I, I swear. It you so it. pineapples isn't on there. No, because you guys would have expected me to put pineapple That's on there. That's why I was saving my number one. Well, yeah, me too. Sorry. Pineapples belong on pizza. Yes. Fact. No. I'm lucky for once. <laughs> wow, we just agreed on something. Yeah, no <laughs> That's great. You feel like it. Addy, do you like pineapples on pizza? No. Boo. It's weird. Boring. No, it's not. It's good. I only it's like I only like meat on my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any recommended recommendations? <laughs> recommendations out of Kennesaw Way? For food? I'm going to the Australian Bakery Cafe. Let's Bring me something back, please. Um, yeah. Gotcha. Like, what do you want? Like eight meat pies, seven sausage rolls, and meat pies? It's not like Lebanese. Australian. Oh. Yeah. 
like food, uh, bars, like. So isn't Kennesaw like you have to like basically go to Buckhead to go to like all the bars yeah. or the Battery? Yeah, Battery's cool, but I feel like that would get. Is that they have a bull. They have a pool. A bull, like you can ride the bull. Oh, uh, how about? I know there's a video. Show us the video. Of me? Yes. No. Is there one at everyone in Athens? Because I would like, I want to have, or. There's one at the frat. Or, AJ, I do a frat party. In the if day. you want to. I'm sure I know somebody that has a bull that we can see who can ride the longest. Dude, eight seconds is a really long time. Um, well, guys, um, I hope this episode turned out to be longer than 15 minutes of content that we can actually keep in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me and brett really appreciate y'all tuning in um we're gonna have some good guests coming up we've already got some lined up just didn't have one lined up for tonight but hope y'all enjoyed the show just me me and the, me and the aussie and good to debrief again yeah good to catch debrief. up yeah catch up for sure cheers